Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, no problems today. We've been talking about the different features of the bottom of the ocean, and it turns out the last one we're going to talk about is something called the oceanic ridges. Now, you recall, we learned about the mid-Atlantic ridge. Right? That's where, where um, the plate tectonics guy, um, Wegener, he started figuring things out. And then they sent, you know, German U-boats, and they started studying. They said, oh, there's a big mountain range, and they discovered the mid-Atlantic ridge. And oceanic ridges, as you'll recall, when we talked about the mid-Atlantic ridge, is a diverging plate-plate boundary, right? And then as it diverges, right, it moves across, then upwelling comes new magma. But these are ridges. So let's take a look at the ocean ridges around the Earth. Now you see the map here, and you look at the map, and I would like you to label the different ocean ridges on the map in your packet. So you can see right here the Southeast India, uh, Indian Ridge, uh, Southeast if you will. And then that follows the Pacific Antarctic Ridge, all right, and then the Eastern Pacific Ridge. This little small one is the Juan de Fuca Ridge. Of course the big one, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And if we look across over here, we've got the Southwest Indian Ridge. And you can see how it kind of uh, tees, that comes back over here to the Southeast Indian Ridge. And then the one that uh, snakes up there is the Central Indian Ridge. And you might need to pause the video so you can jot those down in your notes. So let's think about this, an oceanic ridge. Let's see if we can draw a picture of what the oceanic ridge looks like. You might think a ridge, now a ridge on land is a big steep thing. And it's just one narrow thing that might exist for many, many um, miles, something, you know, like that. A long, long ridge. I'm trying to draw it in two dimensions. Oops. And then I'll erase that. But it turns out, if we find the ridges, the term ridge is somewhat misleading, because actually, the ridge extends for miles and miles and miles. You know, and it's got a slope, and they're kind of folded. And so the number of miles it can sometimes go is they tend to be 600 to 2,500 miles in length. Folks, that's, that's a long ridge. So the term ridge is almost kind of a, a misnomer. This is miles, yeah. Because uh, all this upwelling, what, what's causing this is we have when the, the hot magma rises to the surface. We got all these like underwater volcanoes, right? We talked about that last thing, millions of them. Um, is that it, the lava is less dense, and so it rises, which causes this to get taller. So, so the less dense, and that's what causes it to be above the floor, because the floor of the ocean, if you will, is maybe down here. So why is this so tall? It's again because of this density. The density of the lava rises, and it has something to stack on top of. And as it rises, again, from the center, if this is the center, it rises, and it flows out. But it's going to freeze pretty quick because it's hitting the water. But then, of course, the whole plate, remember, is splitting apart. So oceanic ridges, they're all over the world, and this is where we can see uh, how fast they move. Some move, we've said this in class before, they move two to three centimeters a year, but some are moving uh, 10 to 12 centimeters a year. So it depends on which one you're talking about. Uh, you know, if it's the, the mid-Atlantic one, I think is the slower one, it's in the two to three centimeter range, and someone's out in the Pacific, they're moving at, you know, 10 to 12 centimeters. And you still, I mean, 10 to 12 centimeters, remember, how big is a centimeter? It's the width of your fingernail. So the, the ocean ridge is moving apart by three fingernails a year, maybe 10, you know, which would be like a hand. Uh, not very far, or fast in some senses. But when we talk about thousands and millions of years, of course, it, it adds up. So oceanic ridges, the last sort of major feature under the Earth. Remember, so there's three big features under the ocean, right? Or three big categories of features, right? We talked about the continental margin, the edges, right? I'll call it the edge. Then we've got the deep ocean parts, deep ocean. That's where we find uh, guy outs and uh, uh, atolls, which are cool. By the way, I like atolls, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then the abyssal plains. And then, of course, here we've got the ridges. So this, this is, well, when we look at the bottom of the ocean, we discover something really interesting and cool. We see that it's not a flat space like the ancients thought. It, it's varied, and there's different things, and different living things live in different parts of the ocean. And there's different features. Kind of like the Earth, right? We got flat parts. Houston's flat. You go to Colorado, you got mountains. You got it's almost just as varied under the ocean as it is, like, on land. Isn't oceans cool? We'll see you in class.